All right. I'll call it there. Thank you, team. And next up is going to be Lehigh Valley Watershed. Jennifer, Deji, I'm ready. I'm going to be sharing the screens on these slides. I forgot I was on mute. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody did, kind of. Just give a few seconds. Okay, sharing the screen. Oops. Can you see my screen, everyone? No. No. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> Share. Okay. Yeah. What about now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right. Go ahead if you're ready. Hi, everyone. We're at the VR Lehigh Valley River Watershed team. I'm Beiji and with me are Jennifer and Junior. So the issue that we are addressing is the fact that understanding watersheds leads to an understanding of environmental issues such as water quality, pollution, and land use. Why does that matter? Watersheds are systems by their own nature. Everyone lives and works in a watershed whose waters eventually reach the ocean. This means that individual actions on a regional scale will eventually create a global impact. Educated people make educated decisions. Our solution is to educate people in the Lehigh Valley on their local watershed. We are using Unity software to create game-based learning activities in an immersive virtual reality environment. Our design concept focuses on the presentation of historical, geographical, and environmental material in a 3D situational learning environment. Because it's a situational and fully immersive environment, this will lead to higher levels of engagement and therefore greater intellectual gains. You can move to the next one. Because our entire project has an overall five different virtual reality modules, at the moment we are working specifically on IVR1, which introduces participants to the Lehigh watershed as a broad system. We are working with the university and will be testing IVR1 at the Lehigh Gap Nature Center and the Delaware and Lehigh National Heritage Corridor, both of which are informal STEM educational centers. So the one, uh, one of the most compelling cases we had was at a local project-based alternative learning environment and students were completely immersed and engaged in the virtual reality game that we had um, initially uh, developed. Next. Um, so picture number one, this is what the game looks like. This is the immersed virtual reality that the uh, students are going to see. And it's, there's an avatar that tells them what they're going to do. They fly around the Lehigh Valley and they look at the spots. They see the Lehigh Valley Mall. They see their school. We've identified different places. In the upper right-hand corner, that's what the um, controller looks like that they use with immersed virtual reality. Um, in the lower left hand corner, those are just some historical pictures, the different uh, areas in the valley that we're going to show them. Um, the middle picture is Junior and one of our students having so much fun in, in the immersive virtual reality. And the lower right hand corner, people, children or learners of all ages um, have a good time as we've seen so far uh, with this immersive virtual reality. In the next slide. Uh, the current phase, we're storyboarding the watershed experience. We're doing some data collection of the local watershed history, development of the immersive virtual reality game one, sharing initial research findings, finalizing qualitative data. Um, the next phase, we're reviewing the recent feedback. We're going to be doing some trainings with the Lehigh Gap Nature Center and VL personnel, and some assessment of users' experience. And we're starting development of IVR too. 
So uh, in terms of credibility and validity, uh, our project started uh, as a mountaintop summer project in 2018. And uh, since then, we already started publishing our initial uh, findings and design recommendations. Uh, we believe that a way of getting validity and credibility is the satisfaction of the end user. So we have here uh, an example of a student from Lehigh testing our game last year in an event. Uh, and here on the lower uh, end uh, corner, we have uh, our post presentation at London uh, last year in summer, where we presented these two first uh, conference papers. And we even ended up uh, getting the best award for research posters. So uh, we believe that this is showing us that we have been doing a, a good and like effective work in terms of research, educational research, design and uh, implementation. So, so far, uh, we started with a prototype using ATC Vive, which is, was a very costly uh, machinery and hardware. Uh, we read, uh, we changed, we studied and make the case to changing for a lower cost, but still immersive virtual reality headset, which is the Oculus Go. We did this uh, test that Jennifer mentioned in the school last uh, May. We collect data and we are publishing uh, this data uh, this year. Currently, we are working on our uh, first out of five modules of the Lehigh Valley watershed. And what we liked the most was that uh, from the focus groups we had the, the students like the high school students they said oh my phone rang and I, I i didn't even want to see what it was i was just like having fun playing the game fine thank you all righty so i can take questions now yes questions from anyone how do I stop sharing? Oh, should I stop sharing? No. You can keep it up. All right. I am I, missing something here. What is the problem and what are you proposing to in terms of the solution? What are you solving? So uh, basically, uh, initially we were doing educational research to help unengaged students uh, relate to the content uh, learning that uh, we need to provide. Uh, as educational researchers as well, we chose to be uh, teaching about the, the history, geography, and uh, uh, his, uh, the, evo uh, the evolution that Lily High Valley had in a global perspective during the Industrial Revolution. Not only that, there, there was lots of uh, environmental uh, consequences uh, from that time that still lingers today. So these subjects, they are losing space in the crammed content for, because of standardized testing nowadays. So we hope that by using a game-based uh, game learning perspective paired up with a very cutting edge technology, which is immersive virtual reality, we our educational intervention is gonna help change these numbers for the better. I hope I have answered the question correctly. Uh, let's see, uh, Christian and then Ethan. Hi, thank you for your presentation. I had two questions here regarding this. So it's unclear to me how uh, you want to reach your students. So uh, this is a game, but you need the harder for it. So yeah. how does that, um, uh, get to students across, let's say, the, the, the valley. So do you assume that they have already this, the, the hardware or do you distribute that or do you do drives with the and go to the schools for that? And second, for any educational activity, you want to be able to measure kind of what impact you have. So how do you measure if you achieved your target of educating them and changing their behavior towards what they're shedding. Okay, uh, so first question. Uh, since we uh, we have been working in partnerships with Lehigh University and especially the Office of Creative Inquiry, uh, we gather, uh, the uh, we use part of our funds, fundings that we have to uh, 
purchase these Oculus Go headsets, and we come into the partners that uh, allow us to like implement our interventions, and we provide all the technology and training. So we help like with uh, the professional development aspect as well. Uh, in terms of the development, uh, since I am doing my doctor research, uh, doctor program here at Lehigh, I have uh, taken the lead of learning the technology and uh, developing the games, and we have moved onto a phase of capacity building. So we are welcoming new students through the Mountaintop Summer Project and also other uh, Lehigh projects across campuses that uh, they want to use virtual reality as an educational tool. So I have been really involved with that. Uh, the other uh, question, I guess I can answer by sharing uh, some information here. So we have planned from our uh, proposal, we have submitted a NSF proposal recently to get grant money so we can implement this project. So we are going to be measuring uh, some uh, aspects that are re related to the immersive VR learning model that we are developing. Uh, so we're gonna be collecting data on the gaming features. How do they allow the students or help the students getting more engaged into the uh, educational content that they are experiencing? Also, we are gonna be uh, collecting data on the local context because we use uh, local based learning and situated learning as uh, frameworks for us to uh, help uh, enhance the educational impact. Uh, we also have been collecting data and we are publishing this here about the engagement and flow uh, that were uh, initial scales from previous uh, curriculum development researches that our group had done. So we are reapplying them and uh, we got pretty uh, significant numbers. Uh, let me just sh show here. No, yeah. Uh, I, uh, so I have the tables here on the peer, the proposal that, or the article that we submitted this year. So these are the items that we have uh, been collecting last year and we are publishing now in 2020. So, uh, Ninety-eight percent of the the students, the high school students, they had a uh, good attitude towards using virtual reality in a classroom towards learning geography, history, and especially the history of the Lehigh Valley. So, from this data, uh, we are continue to get this feedback that what we decided to be doing as an intervention is uh, working, and then we have planned to be developing more five games like with a wider partnership that involves uh, five STEM learning centers, informal learning centers, and seven local public libraries. Can I ask, I, uh, yes. I don't see it immediately, but what was the sample size here? Like how many students did you uh, did Oh, you get this, yeah, th that's a great question. So uh, the sample size was quite small uh, because it was just initially 54 students that participated in the three days of implementation. However, our greatest intent with this uh, proof of concept research was just the feasibility study to see whether the new technology, the cutting edge technology, the immersive virtual reality headset was going to be well received in the school. So not only by the students, but also by the administration, by the uh, principals and the coordinators, because the, having this uh, month of implementation in this school, high school, created a good fuss in the environment. So everybody, oh, what's that? What's going on? And these students that were our participants, they were inevitably sharing their experiences across the three days. So we kind of galvanized an initial uh, interest towards our educational research that tries to help and uh, this uh, knowledge uh, building and uh, dissemination and especially the cultural heritage conservation of the Lehigh Valley history. Great. That's great, uh, thank you. We have time for at least one more question. Ethan? Um, yeah, mine actually is sort of related to the first question. Um, is there any, because first of all, I think it's cool uh, regarding like Lehigh Valley geographical uh, demonstration. Is there a specific term that you, you, you want to use the word watershed? because all the problem that you mentioned, um, and then later on your demonstration, all your papers 
to me, that's not a watershed issue. <laughs> that's a, that's an educational paper. That's an educational presentation. Which part is the watershed problem that you want to solve? So uh, in this slide, you can see that, that we have a, a GIS map made for, from one of our team members. This is the Lehigh watershed, River watershed, and it connects to the, to the Delaware River watershed. So it's very close to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. So, and here on the colored picture, we have this L shape of the Lehigh River and all the cities from the Lehigh area, the Lehigh Valley area. So we are trying to raise awareness and like uh, improve the uh, knowledge about environmental issues and all the impacts that individuals can have because they live in a watershed. Just like Beige said in the beginning, uh, a watershed is a local system. Although we are the local valley uh, impact uh, group of this uh, cohort, uh, whatever any individual do in this watershed will eventually get to the ocean and impact the, the world at scale. So I guess I, I, I was able to answer your question by showing that uh, we have been centralizing the research and discussion on the watershed because it's a local based uh, content topic for us to base our curriculum development. And also because we hope that students and also the other age participants this year will be more engaged because it's something that they can relate to, not something that is outside their lives or something uh, unrealistic for uh, their day by day lives. Okay. I um, could I, I just uh, really quickly, I share Dr. Yang's uh, confusion and concern that, I mean, this project starts off as watershed issue, but I mean, everything about it seems to me as an education paper, education uh, project. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I think I'm going to be able to answer now. So from uh, our first, we started by doing like historical and bibliographical uh, research to understand uh, the, what has happened in the area so we could come in, uh, transform that into something uh, tangible and uh, for our students. So uh, in this uh, poster presentation, for instance, we can narrate all the story that happened. The Lehigh Valley two, two centuries ago used to be a, like a, for a lush forest, but because of the Industrial Revolution uh, activity, it became like highly eroded and uh, it turned out by the, the 70s to be almost like a barren moonscape, like no vegetation whatsoever. So we want to tell that story uh, through our, we have been telling actually because it's already done. And here on this 2002 up to 2012 strip, you can see that we uh, are showing that the revegetation process that has been taking place uh, is through our game, the first game that we developed uh, in 2018, so it's here. We also have in this post some uh, results as the prototype development and like iterative design uh, model. And uh, for the second uh, poster, we started focusing more on this like game elements and designing and sharing what we have been doing uh, at Lehigh with these partnerships that we have with the creative office. Uh, and also the College of Education. So these are some screenshots of the games with the uh, educational content from the Lehigh Valley and the environment. So uh, I think we are, we have been, no, I'm sure we have been focused on the watershed and we have been focusing our inter educational intervention on that. Maybe the questions that have arrived arisen is because we are not focused on creating a company or it's not a, pro, a profit venture. We are a, a research educational research and development uh, nonprofit uh, venture. So we are focusing mainly on uh, understanding what's happening, getting to know about the affordances of the cutting edge emerging technology that is immersive virtual reality and especially by, by going to the field by forging these partnerships and uh, collecting data so we can uh, plan better and uh, continue developing more and more. 
I'm sorry, I have to cut it off. <laughs> we have three more. Oh, I finished. Thank you. I finished. Thank you very much.